Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over a very solid cover three beater out of the gun doubles formation. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and anything that you guys would like to see. You guys already know the whole spiel, man. Social media, all that, all that good stuff, all that jazz. Now, we're gonna be coming out of the gun doubles formation, and the play that we're gonna be looking at is the red zone scissors play out of the gun doubles you can find this in the browns the panthers the steelers and the vikings playbook now this play is very special because it has two very good routes in it it has a zone destroyer and it also has a man coverage beater as well that re the the scissors route from the running back destroys man coverage i made a video about it a while a while back kind of like when the game first started i believe it was out of a tight doubles formation and this running back route is almost unstoppable it gets it gets above some like if someone's playing like a hard flat it gets above that uh, uh a, a cloud flat without like zone drops you know done up it gets above that it's a very very solid route and it's going to be something that you guys are going to be able to go crazy with now one thing that you guys are going to need is a slot apprentice on the in the slot so where cole beasley's at you, you guys are going to want a slot apprentice or some or a quarterback with hot route master or something that's going to help you guys out now what i'm going to do before i do anything is make sure that the that the d line is all blocking now what you guys are going to want to do with this play is you're going to want to put the 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 slot who is triangle in the situation you're gonna to want to put them on a corner route okay and you can pretty much take this concept and add it to a bunch of different formations but you see how deep that post is that means that the cornerback that's on the left side is almost never going to be able to actually catch up to it because it's just too deep of a post route and then if they are playing man coverage that running back route is going to destroy him as well as the slot route the slot route should destroy him as well now for square i'm going to put him on a drag and that drag should also destroy man coverage as well also creating somewhat of a flood concept on that right side with the scissors route and the drag route the tight end it's optional you can put him on a drag you can leave him as is you can block him you can do whatever you guys want i'm going to block him for the sake of the video but this is generally what this is going to look like. You could put digs on a slant if you want, put him on an in route, whatever it is. You want him going towards the left side. You don't want him on a streak. Uh, you don't want you could put him on an out route, I guess, uh, if you guys want to create some weird type of concept. But let's just showcase the play real quick. The corner route brings down the blitzer and obviously the post route over the top. <clears throat> goes absolutely crazy it's a very very good play very solid play and it's something that gets over the top of the defense now if you have good pocket presence you know i made a video about it you guys should go check it out if you have good pocket presence you guys are going to be able to kind of shift your way around but for for the sake of the video i'm just going to block and as soon as he crosses that safety you guys are going to be able to throw that and i'm going to pause it just to showcase when you want to throw that ball because a lot of people kind of get these cover three beaters a little mixed up they'll throw the ball about right there some people will throw the ball there expecting the safety not to play that you have to make sure that that safety is being crossed over now mind you in real time it, it, it's going to look a little bit different but when he starts to get towards that middle of the safety that's when you throw it because that safety is still going to be trailing back and then you aim it towards the sideline you want to aim if your quarterback is here you want to aim it there okay you want to aim that you want to aim that over here not up you want to aim it towards the side the post route is deep enough for you to, for you to be able to throw this route straight to the side without this cornerback act actually reacting and that's the reason why we put the corner route here now if you see that that corner route gets picked up and he comes down you know the post is going to be wide open so right now i'm actually going to throw this route while while the defense is blitzing showing a little bit of pocket presence and as you can see we're able to catch that even with the pressure coming in pocket presence it's so important i cannot stress that enough but again show a little pocket presence go crazy and as you can see pass lead that toward towards the sideline and we're able to go crazy we're able to get a ton of yards for a nice cover three beater and 
I don't know how fast Sanders is, but he doesn't seem like he's that fast. So I feel like if Diggs was the one that was on that route, we would be at we would be actually scoring a touchdown here. But again, uh, showcase a little pocket presence, go crazy, and as you can see, boom. Now, you know, since I did say that this is going to be like a double thing, I'm going to go into man coverage. Now we're going to go into cover two man. We're going to press like always. And now to just just to kind of showcase this, this running back route. It just it's so good, especially when it's typically a, a, a linebacker that's guarding that route. It's a very special route in the game. And if you have anything like backfield mismatch or backfield master, that running back is going to run that route extremely, extremely crispy. But the beater here is great. But the man beater is just as great. It's something that you guys are definitely going to want to run if you guys are in the gun doubles formation. Or it's something that you guys just might want to audible to if you guys are, you know, Try to have a little bit of fun with the game and are trying to go crazy as you can see this is just getting open every single time as soon as you crosses that middle you're good to throw it you're good to go you're good to go crazy remember all you need is a slot apprentice and a fast guy on the outside and you guys are good to go so one more time we're gonna put cole beasley on a corner out which is triangle then then triangle and then left on the directional button then you're going to block the tight end optional as well and then you're going to take digs and put them on any route that's going towards the right side whether it's a streak i'm mean, not a streak excuse me whether it's a slant whether it's a whatever whatever you want just put them on it and that's all you're going to need wait for the pocket oh oh my god the pocket the pocket collapsed the pocket collapsed let's run this one more time before i head out of here man And look look at the beauty spin move on them and we're gonna end this with a beautiful 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 touchdown show the replay and then and then i am gonna get out of your hair okay so we got the corner out here and you can take this concept and bring it to other formations corner routes bring down deep blues that are not deep halves deep halves this might not get over a deep half but a deep blue this is gonna get over a deep blue as you can see so much space so much space this is more space this is more space than any than any other type of like cover three beater because of how deep that post route is so he doesn't start going back until he crosses his side of the field and i know that i i want to make these videos quick but at the same time i also want to explain why things work so you guys could take these concepts and bring them to other formations and kind of try to get glitchy for yourselves but hopefully this tip helps you guys out if you guys do have if you guys are running one of these playbooks remember it's in the browns the panthers the steelers and the vikings playbook you can get glitchy out of all of those let's run it one more time for the video very very quick pocket presence went crazy as you can see boom spin move one more time and bango nice little touchdown hopefully this video helps you guys out man my name is pony montana as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys